Today's video is about this little girl when she got goat polio. We came back from vacation and uh, she was really hurting. Obviously with her right now, the way she is, the story turned out pretty good. I have successfully raised goats for a number of years, used them for clearing brush, sold them, had them for meat, used them in my petting zoo, and but I would not consider myself a vet. And when I saw the symptoms that were going on here, I did not know what was going on. And so I had to find some help. So we came home from visiting our in-laws and I came home to check on my animals and she was quivering and turning to only one direction. She could only spin one direction then was standing with her nose up against the wall, uh, clearly sick. And so I came upstairs to make some phone calls and post some stuff to find answers. When I came back down, she had stumbled because she wasn't very uh, coordinated at the time because of her weakness, stumbled down the hillside. One of the problems of having your farm on the hillside is if you have sick goats or when babies are born, they try to get up and then sometimes they stumble down the hill. And so, you know, to go look at them, look for them uh, pinned up against the fence. And sure enough, she was pinned against the fence with uh, down the hill with no strength to get back up. So I had to go get her and uh, start giving her treatments. Facebook was very helpful in the process of this. Uh, after seeing her symptoms, I went up and posted a quick video of what she was doing with her quivering and shaking and spinning in circles. And uh, I posted that on Northwest Goats, which is a Facebook forum that I'm part of. And within half an hour, I had 20 people saying that's polio. So I looked at it further and sure enough, it was polio. Also, the benefit of that Facebook post was I didn't know that I had a friend here. Actually, I had taught her daughter uh, that lived just a mile, uh, about two miles away. And she had the first couple doses of medicine at her house. And because it was Christmas Eve, it wasn't easy to buy everything. Uh, she ran over and within an hour and a half, we had the first dose of medicine that we needed for polio. So Facebook, being on a Facebook forum of Northwest Goats, in my case, really was helpful in diagnosing and treating what was going on here. She keeps holding her head to the side, grinding her teeth. When she is up and walking, she's turning towards that side. Both classic symptoms of polio. Uh, a friend that was nearby gave me some penicillin and some vitamin B. This morning we gave her a shot. Um, she doesn't seem to be shaking as much tonight. I got to give her another shot tonight. Um, I'm also going to try to get some food in her. Um, this is just spur of the moment trying to get things done. I have some whole milk that I warmed up. that will get some liquid and some calorie in her at the same time. Uh, I couldn't get her to eat earlier today but it does look like there's a little bit of grain gone <coughs> from what I left earlier today and a little bit of water so I think she did get a little bit in her but I'm gonna <coughs> just take a larger syringe try to get some whole milk cow's milk see if she'll suck that down and give her a little strength um, she is drinking that I'm gonna try to do this <coughs> excuse me I'm going to try to do this before I give her her shots because then if I give her shots first she's going to be too excited and then not going to want to eat. So I'm going to try to get a little nutrient in her, I'll give her some energy to help battle this and then I'm going to give her shots and then give her a good night's sleep hopefully. Let's see if I can get her to open her mouth without being too rough on her. Okay, she's swallowing some, trying not to make it go down the wrong chute, <laughs> give her pneumonia. That wouldn't be a good way to treat this. I haven't got a lot in her yet, but I'm feeling good about the fact that there is definitely some going down. I'm going to try to get some more in her, see if she recognizes it and just takes it voluntarily now. No. Nope. All right, thumb behind the teeth, open up. I'm just going to go real slow 
She's letting it sit in there. Well, hopefully she'll swallow. I'm not liking that she's fighting me, but she's way more balanced and coordinated than she was this morning, so that's a good sign. So, um, I'm going to get some more medicine in her, and hopefully she's looking even better tomorrow morning. Alright, this is vitamin B coming in first. She took it in the rump better, or had more skin this morning when we tried to do it. I should have a helper here, but... All right, got the vitamin B in. Help her bounce back. Now a little penicillin. Gonna make sure I get her pinned down a little bit better before I put this in. Come here, girl. There we go. Hold on. Yeah, that didn't feel good going in, huh? Sorry about that, girl. That is a coordinated walk and wander around that she's doing right now. She is so much more coordinated than she was this morning. She couldn't have figured this out this morning. I like the direction we're going. Hopefully it continues. All right, I've got the shots in. And uh, I had to wrestle around with her, and that's actually a good sign. She could not put up resistance at all this morning. She had no coordination. So running around in the uh, little pen here is a good thing. Right now, she's found the grain that I just put out, which again, this morning she couldn't, she couldn't find grain to eat, and she couldn't eat anything. And there is some water gone from her tub. So uh, I think the first dose of medication has done some good. And uh, hopefully she continues this way. I'm going to put the heat lamp in now, leave her alone till early tomorrow morning, and uh, hope and pray that she continues to get better. Here she is, morning day two, a lot better. I know she's just hiding there in the corner, but I had her out here, gave her her shots, and she jumped through and ran through there, which a day ago she never could have done. Her coordination is much better. So now, after giving her shots, which hurt, she's trying to hide from me. She's up balanced, not shaking, eating right now. I think we're off to a good start. On our way to recovery. Yeah, sorry about poking you with needles, little lady. Okay, I've been treating my little girl for polio. For a couple days her physical strength and her coordination has been getting a lot better uh, i've noticed that she's had a hard time finding food and her vision doesn't seem to do that well that uh, good and if she, i'm afraid that she's maybe completely blind i'm threatening i'm giving a threatening strike towards the front of her face and she doesn't seem to even realize that I am doing that. There's no flinching. So honestly, I'm not an expert on polio and goats, but I, I don't know if her vision is going to come back. I was hoping, because her strength is coming back, I was going to put her back out in the pasture today and uh, with the other goats, and because I'm home, keep an eye on her, but I don't, I don't think she can see anything, to be honest, right now. Right, girl, let's get some more vitamin B and penicillin in here. Good girl. Good girl. Mm -hmm. well, let's get some vitamin B in there as well. I know neither of us have fun with this. I should probably 
turn you around. Get this on the other shoulder. There you go. There you go, little lady. Yeah, this is not fun for either of us. All right, I got some green. She can hear me drop it. She knows the routine, but she really can't find the grain, and I know she's hungry. It's right here. It's right here. Okay, it's another day. My baby girl's still clearly by blind, uh, not able to figure her way around. She's physically strong, but her sense of smell might not be very good either. I left grain. I know she's hungry. She couldn't find it. I'm testing her eyesight. She's not flinching. I'll continue to give her medications. Uh, I did, I don't have the ability to, I don't have a tube small enough to drench her right now to get her nutrients. I did squeeze a bunch of liquid nutrients into her mouth and got her to swallow some last night, so that's good. Uh, hoping this turns around. I know it hasn't been that long, but it seems like I've been doing this for a long time getting up and giving multiple medications a day, trying to, now I'm at a point where I have to try to get food down her. And, uh, you know, you start looking at the fact that it monetarily is, is this worth it? But then at the same point in time, you care for your animals and you love them and you're like, you know, I'm not gonna give up on her, don't, don't think that, not, not yet, but it, it becomes hard to keep doing this. And uh, so right now, um, Morally and ethically, I, you know, they're my animals. I need to take care of her and do the best I can for her. But uh, it'd be easier just not be dealing with this all the time. But uh, I got her shots here ready, and I'll I'll try to hand feed her. Um, I'll get into town today. It's the day after Christmas now, and hopefully get some food that will be easier to get into her, so that she can. Uh, get some more nutrient in her because she's starting to get low on nutrient now too. Hold on there, big girl. Yeah, yeah I know. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. Let me get you some other vitamin here. It almost seems like she could see that doorway. Maybe she's got a little bit of shadow uh, vision. Hopefully it starts coming back. I'm, some of my friends that have had this happen said that after a few days, sometimes it's, vision starts coming back. The strength is certainly coming back. So I'm hoping maybe later tonight or maybe tomorrow, we'll start seeing signs that her vision is coming back. It's not a good fold right there, baby girl. Let me... Yeah, I know. I know. There you go. There you go. Because you're not supposed to have that much sweets right now. Here, try this. Try that. You want some of that? Want some of that? There you go. Good girl. Little girl. Let's let's put this up in there. Oh yeah, yeah, drink that. Well, that's good. Good girl. Keep drinking that. You need me to slow down? I think she might be getting a little bit back. She's definitely still struggling. I think she might be able to find a little bit of light though because each time I open up the doors and light comes in, she seems to sense it and tries to go out the door. Um, two days ago she couldn't do that. So I think she's starting to at least recognize light. I'm hoping uh, with some more injections she'll start to uh, 
see more things and get her vision back. They say it can come back. One thing I do know she knows, even though she can't see, is when I pick her up and I get ready to do an injection, I start grabbing, she knows that she's getting another shot and she does not like to be held like that anymore. I'm getting tired of poking her. All right, baby girls, we're all good, let's go. See, she, she knows a shot is coming right now. Oh, sorry, girl. Yeah, that hurts, doesn't it? We gotta do another one. We gotta do another one. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on now. Man, you're starting to get tough skin there from being put. Too many. All right, December 28th, we we're seven days away. I don't know why she hasn't eaten her food that's down here, but she seems, when I opened the door, she ran straight out the door. When I put my hands up to block her, she knew I was in the way. So I think she's getting a little bit of vision back. She definitely wants to be with the herd. I'm gonna give her her shots this morning. And then I'm going to uh, put her out with the herd. It's a sunny day, warm weather, and I'm going to stick around and keep an eye on her. I'm not going to just abandon her, but I'm going to see if she moves around with them all right. And uh, she seems to be getting on the rebound. I hope that's the case. I know she's getting tired of these shots. I know I'm tired of giving them, but even if she is getting better, we're still a long ways from done on the shots, according to the vaccination schedule. Let's see how she does. We'll see if she can find her way around with the other goats. She seems a little bit lost. I'm going to feed the rest of the animals now and see how she responds. She has some idea, but she can't quite get herself up in the trough. She's used to being up on the ledge where it's a little higher. Get up there, baby girl. How do I know she's getting her coordination back and her eyesight? She's the one goat that always sneaks through the chicken hole and gets into the feeder. And today, she already knows how to do it again. Not good for her, not good for the chickens. Figuring her way out. She's doing much better. Agility's back, eyesight's back. I still have to keep giving her penicillin and vitamin B for a while yet, but not multiple times a day anymore. A lot more shots to yeah. give, but she's on her way you back. You got balance your tail up in the air?